and welcome to British English with Joel and Leah. Today we're going to be running through American words that British people have no idea what they mean. So my first word for you, Joel, is faucet. Faucet. It sounds really posh in English, doesn't it? Faucet. faucet. That sounds like an item of clothing. Yeah, faucet. Faucet. Yeah, it sounds like a corset. Faucet. It's like a. It's like a type of corset. No, you'll be surprised to know it's actually just the tap, just switching on the tap. Like a water tap. Water tap. Faucet. It's like faucet. Like it sounds like forcing it open. Faucet. For, faucet. Maybe faucet. that's what it is. No, oh, like, faucet. faucet. It open. Um, maybe. Weird. It's just weird. American word. Faucet. Wow. I just. I've never thought of a tap being anything other than a tap. Yeah. Taps tap. So my one for you is cilantro. I think I actually know this, actually. Oh. Um, reason being, it's a food thing because yeah. I do quite a lot of recipes online. So and I do it. think they call it, it's like parsley or something, isn't it? Or it's either coriander. Coriander. It's coriander. coriander. It's just weird, though, that you can have such different words for things. Which, I mean, this is this whole idea of this video, but it is weird. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah. Also, people are so split on coriander. I love mm. it. I like a little bit, but too much, and it tastes like soap. I'm like... Really? Yeah, gross. I love it. Mm. Coriander in guacamole is nice. Oh, That's yes. Nice. Guacamole. Gua guacamole. So the next one is condo. You probably... Yeah. yeah. Like a flat or an apartment. Yeah, condo yeah. is an apartment. If I ever called my apartment a condo, I think someone would just slap me around the I face. Know. It's so funny. My brother, when he first bought his apartment, um, Facebook didn't have a thing for saying apartment. You know, you get those life events like, yeah. just bought an apartment. Um, so it didn't have the thing for apartment, stop, so it said just stop. bought a condo, no. and everyone made fun of him so much for saying condo. It's so funny. He was like, I didn't have any choice. That was the only word they had for apartment or flat. So the next one is quite a funny one, I think, is doohickey. Is that when you get it's a hickey? Is like when you get no. kissed on the neck? Well, hickey is when you get like a, a bruise or something like, from a, a kiss. No, what's a doohickey? Is it like with the same genders doing it? I don't know. <laughs> no. Hickey from the girl. No, it's like their version of like a thingamajig or like a that. Oh, a what's it? A what's it or you know a when you, you know when you can't think of something like the remote control for the TV. Like, oh, pass me the um, thingamajig. They say, pass me the um, uh, doohickey. Also, loads of people have got like a million different words for remote control. That's true. In England, it's like zapper, the changer, the whatchamacallit, the, the remote. The yeah. TV, the box, pass me the box means the box. It. Pass me the box. I've never means heard actually, that. Yeah, legit, it's like pass me the box. In the controller for the box. Oh, it's so weird. mad. There's so many different words for remote. Wow. There's probably a whole other video on that. Yeah. Like household item slang. I hate the word channel changer because it's too <gasps> <Channel> literal. <laughs> it's like, what does this do? It changes me channels. The channel changer. <laughs> it's so, I hate Immediately. it. Immediately. <laughs> oh my god. Kids, who is hiding the channel changer? <laughs> oh my god. No, so no, annoying. So annoying. Um, so yeah, do hickey is a thingamajig. Yeah. So for anyone who's not familiar with the English or American of those, uh, yeah, it's like Joel said, it's just the name of something you don't know what the name is in yeah. that moment. The next one, which I find completely bizarre, is you'll know it from the, the pre-word that comes before it. Okay. The cheese shredder. Cheese shredder. That's their the, version of grater. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> it's a grater. It we, makes sense. We call it a cheese grater. Yeah, grater. But shredding makes more sense, you know. Shred. Because when do you ever? What does grate mean? Yeah. But shred. If you if you've got shreddings of something, then it's yeah. That's better. To be America. fair, you've got that one. Yeah. So the next one again, you'll probably get this one by its very literal term is powdered sugar. I actually don't know what that is. Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Just think of sugar that's powder. in a powder form. What's that called? Oh, okay. It was about to say drugs, but <laughs> that's no. not. That's not right. That's not what they call that's drugs. No, what powdered sugar? It's like, are you? Is it like a? Is it like uh, a street slang for sugar. powdered sugar? No. Like people are like, have you got any? No. Um, powdered sugar. Is it just like um, like the cake on the cake? Yeah, on the icing cake. sugar. Okay, icing yeah. sugar is the word. So my old flatmate that was American, I didn't realise that she didn't know what icing sugar was, and she was like, what? This, does that mean? And she was like, oh, powdered sugar. Yeah, I suppose it's yeah. sort of like powder and it's sugar. But again, that, that to me is a bit like channel changer. It's too literal. It's too like powdered sugar. 
Okay, so the next one, Joel, is um, it's really obvious. We've heard it, but I just want to address it because there's so many different names for this thing in English and American. Okay. And whilst I was abroad recently in Asia, they were so confused they didn't know what to call it. So in America, it's trash. Oh, yeah. Over rubbish. here, it's rubbish. Some people call it garbage. Some people call it litter, trash, bin. It's, I don't know if... Trash can. Trash can. Or There's rubbish There's so many bin. words for it that it's like, we all need to decide on one, I feel. Yeah, it's just too trash many. too many. I mean, if something's rubbish, then it's like... It's rubbish. It's like rubbish. So I think rubbish is a good term for it. Yeah. But then I am English, so trash I would say Trash or garbage. That. Yeah. Trash. Trash. If I think of trash, I think of someone trashing a house. Like, yeah. Or like... Wrecked. Yeah. Okay, this is weird as well. Again, I feel like it's quite a literal thing, but also not. What? Station wagon. What's, <laughs> What's a station wagon? Is it like something from a, a, like a film with tumbleweed in it? Like, no, no, no. I'm in my station No, it's very wagon. modern day. That's um, probably where it's come from, because it's like the cowboys used to have them, maybe. I don't station know. Station wagon is like, instead of it being horses, it's like, I don't know. No. It's like... It's an estate car. <laughs> what? That's so in the so UK, weird. a station wagon, we would call it uh, an estate. Estate car is just like a long car. car, isn't it? Yeah, a car it that's like... More in. You get a hatchback, which is small, and then a, an estate, which is like bigger at the back. Pardon me. Oh my gosh. So hey. you're bored by the station wagon. <laughs> station wagon. I've, wow. That's so yeah. odd. Odd. Station odd. wagon. And my last one yeah. for you. The mm. last one is a food. So it's mine for you. Is it? Yeah, okay. I've got a food one for you. So mine is um, uh, zucchini. Do you know zucchini. what that is? Oh, uh, I know. It's like... Is it aubergine? No, what is it? It's a courgette. Courgette, that's yeah. the one. So we are, we have courgette here, which is like <gasps> courgette oh. spaghetti. Yeah, what do they call so it? So they must call it zucchini Zucchini-etti. zucchini 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 It's not amazing, it's just a good, it's a good alternate. substitute for pasta. Yeah. yeah. So zucchini, you already zucchini. You knew it was a courgette. Yeah. You'll probably know this one as well. Well, you what might not. What is it? I'd not heard of this till recently. Capsicum. Is it a flower? No. Oh no, you told me it's a it's a it's a food. Yeah. Is it veg? Yeah. Capsicum. Capsicum. Is it a type of like I don't is it a type of like rare tomato? No. Well it looks a bit like a tomato. Not a really. Pepper. Pepper. Yeah. Is yeah, it a pepper? Yeah, it's a pepper. A I, apparently they ha they called it that in Australia as well. Let us um, know if that's true in yeah. the comments. Or if that's just a vicious rumour. A vicious rumour <laughs> that we plan to end right here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Pepper. But pepper's confusing because pepper can be salt and pepper pepper, pepper or, or pepper can be the vegetable pepper. So maybe capsicum is better. Yeah, we should we could adopt that maybe. Yeah. Cheers America. Thanks America. That's, well, that's it. it guys. That was fun. That was quite fun. Yeah. Um I think we ought to next time go on Urban Dictionary, find okay. American phrases and compare those. Yeah. Okay. Let us know if you'd like to see that. Yeah, let's do it. Because it's all fun <laughs> learning American words, but there's tons of phrases oh, that yeah. are so different to British phrases. Definitely. I'd love to get an American YouTuber, preferably one that does videos about like American English and learning and stuff. But let us know who we should do a video with because it'd be great to get an American on our channel. Oh my God, that'd be so fun. Yeah. If you like our video, please subscribe and we will see you next week. If you'd like to follow us on Instagram, then you can. Yeah. We are at John and Leah on all of the platforms. She did it all. She did it all. That's it. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> We've also got a patron page. Yeah, if you'd like to support us, tip us for these free videos that we put out. Uh, then you can. It'll be great because it helps us to keep making good videos for you guys. See you next week. See you. Bye. Bye.